Welcome back to TV5 News at 9, another edition of Axe the County. And joining us this morning, Saginaw County Treasurer, our great friend Tim Novak. Tim, it's good to see you. It is a good morning, isn't it? Isn't it? It's been really nice these past few yes, days. It has. Yeah. And today we're talking about resources and upcoming events for our veterans. Super exciting here. So this Saturday is Veterans and First Responders Recreation Day. Tell us about what's happening in Saginaw County. So we're going to be at Haithco Park again. So here we are off of nice. Schuss Road in Saginaw Township. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this Saturday from 9 to 1, it's free for um, veterans, first responders, uh, medical staff, and all their families. Mm -hmm. And so there'll be uh, recreational opportunities, think fishing, kayaking, nice. canoeing type of stuff. They'll supply all those things, mm -hmm. no experience necessary, right? Good opportunity to kind of yeah. give those things a whirl. Um, they're free lunch also for the veterans and, and the and folks and their whole families. Nice. Um, and also there, there'll be resources. Um, uh, resources for first responders and mm -hmm. veterans so that they can find out are they getting the benefits that they've earned mm -hmm. and, and they're, they're able to acquire. Um, folks from Congressman Kildee's staff will also be there as well nice. on hand uh, with veteran service officers. So, so just to make sure, you know, once again, we're having fun, but we're also providing mm -hmm. a service at the same time and to make sure the veterans are getting what they need. Yeah. So how else, else is Saginaw County kind of like supporting their veterans um, with the Veteran Service Office? Yep. So inside the YMCA, so the um, YMCA has a Veteran Service Office. Mm -hmm. So these are um, uh, Kimberly Napoleon's there. She's there from 10 to 3 every day. So you get to see the same face. Mm -hmm. um, you can make an appointment or you can drop in whatever you're comfortable with. And um, once again, this is where you know, she's going to ensure you're receiving all the benefits you've earned. Mm -hmm. So uh, anything federal, state, any health care, mm -hmm. um, burial or survivor benefits, um, housing, pension, employment, all those kinds of things. She's the expert in that. So mm -hmm. they've trained her. This is what she does. Um, it's right in the lobby of the YMCA. Mm -hmm. So you can stop in and see her there and make an appointment. Thursdays are a little special. They're um, kind of, it's Veterans Day every day on Thursday oh, nice. at the Y. Nice. So free admission, so you can make your appointment and see your VSO. Yeah. And then it's um, complimentary access to the YMCA, and nice. they've got veterans programs and things like that available that day. So Good stuff. Um, really a neat place to go if you're, you know, always looking to find those benefits for your... Yeah, yeah. You know. And those benefits can be kind of difficult to sort through, so it's good that we have those resources here. Government has the red tape, right? So yeah. it's a lot of the check and balances and yeah. it can be cumbersome for folks to get through. Mm -hmm. Here's a free resource yeah. for our veterans and first responders and their families to kind of dig through some of that mm -hmm. stuff. And this fall, a lot of fun happening for veterans as well. There's the annual Heroes Breakfast that's happening and the annual Veterans Health Expo. Tell us a little bit about those events. Yep, so just it's kind of like get it on the calendar, right? It's November yep. 8th. Um, both of those at the YMCA as well. So the breakfast is seven to 10 at the YMCA, veterans eat free. And the um, health expo from nine to 12, also at the YMCA, so you could get a bite to eat and head to the expo. And this is where vendors from the Veterans Affairs Agencies, Vet Trust, um, and others, uh, the VA hospital, mm -hmm. Once again, another another access to resources and things for you, and it's free, and you get to eat, right? So who doesn't love who doesn't free like and that, eat? You know? <laughs> and Tim, tell us about some other benefits that uh, veterans who are disabled may be eligible for. So one in particular is um, there's a, a disabled veterans property tax exemption. Mm -hmm. So if you qualify, um, if you're a disabled veteran, um, things like um, so if you have to own your home and be, be your primary residence, okay? And then as far as the, qualifying as a disabled veteran, this would be uh, through the Veterans Administration. So they have to be 100% disabled mm -hmm. and you had to have an honorable discharge and um, um, or other qualifiers if you've received some sort of housing assistance mm -hmm. through the VA and or individually unemployable. So if you meet one of those three criteria and you own your home in your resident state of Michigan, mm -hmm. you can be eligible for um, exemption on your property taxes. Nice. You'll have to pay any special assessments. Sometimes it gets, they'll come in with their bill and go, man, I thought I had to have this. Mm -hmm. And you know, maybe there's a lighting special assessment mm -hmm. or they pay for their annual rubbish fee. But mm -hmm. the tax piece can be, um, you're exempt from that. So it's a, a, a very nice thing that the state of Michigan has. You want to call your uh, local treasurer. You, you get the forms at the city or township in which you live, mm -hmm. and you'll fill the form out there. But you can call the county treasurer's office and we'll answer all your questions yes. in regards to that mm -hmm. and kind of where to go um, sure. and what to do for that. Good stuff. Well, Tim, anything else you want to add? No, just like it seems to be a veterans heavy day. And I know, I love if it. If you see a veteran out on the street, you know, make sure you thank them for their service or a first responder. Yes. Um, I know that uh, we uh, try to keep those folks in your thoughts and, and out there um, 
and thinks that uh, they live the dangerous life. So. Yes, absolutely. Yes. We're so grateful for them. Well, Tim, as always, it's great Thank to you. see you. Yes, of course. And if you have any questions that you would just love to ask the county, send them on over to us, WNEM at WNEM.com. We'll be right back.